Get ready for an uncommon experience in the presence of God. Be expectant and open up your heart as God's word comes to you this morning. This is Mercy Moments with Pastor Shola Oshumakinde. Hello, good morning. This is Mercy Moment on a beautiful Monday morning. I am Shola Oshumakinde. Thank God for another day, another opportunity to fellowship together. Lift up your hands wherever you are, on the road, at home, preparing to go out. Let's bless God for another beautiful Monday. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because you are good and your mercy endures forever. We give you praise. We thank you. We love you. We appreciate you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be your name. This morning, I want to speak on something very crucial. Patience. That means be patient. It's one of the fruits of the Spirit. The Bible said the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience. Hallelujah. I want to read the passage of the Bible. Hebrews 6, 12 says that you be not slothful. You are not supposed to be slothful. But followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise. You see, the promises of God are inherited patiently. Faith and patience. Faith and patience. There is a story that I want to call our attention to this morning. And it's a very uh, pathetic story, but there is something for us to learn from the story of King Saul, the first king in the Bible. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm reading from 1 Samuel chapter 13, verse 10. The Bible says, As soon, it came to pass as soon as he made an end of the offering, behold, Samuel came and said, Saul went to meet him. And then Samuel said unto Saul, Thou hast done foolishly. You have not kept the commandment of the Lord. And then he said that the kingdom will not continue with him. Samuel had given a time to Saul, a specific time that will be arriving. Saul truly waited, but not enough. He was not patient enough. He saw the people scattering. There was pressure on him. And he offered the sacrifice that was meant only for Samuel to offer. And then just as, as soon as he finished, Samuel showed up. If Saul had waited a little, there will be moments in your life around you that God will appear to be slow. Your conscience tells you to hold on, but pressures everywhere are telling you to move on. You are tempted to act based on the pressure that you feel rather than the conviction that is within your soul. That was the case of King Saul here. He wasn't patient enough, and he lost the kingdom because of that. The Bible says you should be followers of those who through faith and patience. Whatever you are watching us from this morning, I am saying to you, there are promises that you are to wait for. There are times that you have to lie low for a while. There are moments that you have to exercise so much patience. God has not forgotten you. Never be pressured to act against your conviction. Hallelujah. So never, is, if he had waited a little, Samuel would have appeared on time. I'm saying to somebody this morning, the word this morning, let's meditate on that scripture. Hebrews 6, 12. Followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise. Be patient. You have it in your spirit as a child of God. It's one of the fruit of the spirit inside you. Hold on. At times, delay gratification. God bless you. This is a wonderful morning. Messy moment on a wonderful Monday morning. I pray that your week is blessed. The Lord will guide you. He will keep you. He will order your step. In the name of Jesus Christ. It will help you to say no when necessary. It will help you to delay gratification in the name of Jesus Christ. You come back with testimony. Your week is blessed. This is Mercy Moment. We shall launch Imagine on a beautiful Monday morning. God bless you. God is good and His mercy endures forever. See you next week.